Step 2. Adjust your BIOS. Now that you've got the iBoot disk ready, it's time to turn on your soon-to-be Hackintosh and adjust the BIOS so your computer's OS X friendly. So make sure you've plugged in a keyboard, monitor, and power, and fire it up. When you get to the first boot screen, press the delete key to open up your BIOS. Once inside, you'll need to make a few adjustments. On the first BIOS screen, arrow down to the entry labeled Storage Configuration. Hit enter and change Configure SATA as to AHCI. Press escape once. Next, arrow over to the Advanced tab, then arrow down to the section labeled Onboard Devices Configuration. Hit enter, find the Marvel 9123 SATA controller entry, and set it to AHCI. Press escape. Now arrow over to the Power section and set Suspend Mode to S3 only. Finally, arrow over to the Boot tab, hit Enter on Boot Device Priority, and set your first boot device to boot from your DVD drive, then set your second boot device as your primary hard drive. Hit F10 to save your changes and exit the BIOS.